Yo, what's going on guys? This is Mike or Geekermon and this... Sorry. Oh my gosh, we're two seconds in. I was just getting more comfortable. And this is Haley. You guys know her from the videos. And this is Marcus's butt <laughs> right in the camera. Turn around, face the crowd. Act like you've been in a YouTube video before. Come on now. All right, you, are you gonna read the question? Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so as promised, to celebrate 30k, Haley and I are doing a Q&A video. The 30k Q&A. With the geeks. <laughs> the geeks, are that what we're going by now? Hello, we are Mr. and Mrs. Geek. Similar to Mr. and Mrs. Smith, except for instead of being really cool <laughs> thieves, uh, what are, we're... They're hitmen. Oh yeah, instead of being really cool hitmen. And women. International Women's Day was this week. 2018. Have some class. All right, first question. How did you meet Haley? You want to tell that? Yeah. <clears throat> so, we met in eighth grade at our tiny little private school. Yep. Um, Mike has claimed in the past that we met at a basketball game. I tend to think it was probably eighth grade earth science. Earth science class. But I remember nothing. <clears throat> I think the first time we talked was at my eighth grade birthday party. That's right. Actually, because I lived way out in the middle of nowhere, and his mom, I think, got lost coming to Trying pick to pick you me up. up. Yep. And so all the boys had left at that point, except for Mike. So it was just Mike. And like and 15 like girls. All the girls. I'm not complaining. That were spending the night. Although I was in eighth grade, so I was like. He got me a candle, so. That's, my grandma said it was a good gift for girls. I went with it. <laughs> I don't know. That's we, how we met. That's that's how we met. And then we actually started dating freshman year of college. So it took a long time. We are not middle school sweethearts or high school sweethearts. We were friends though yes. for a good number of years. Yes. So. All right, next question. Geek, what made you start making YouTube videos? Second question for Haley, do you have a favorite video game? So we, let's do yours first. Do you have a favorite video game, Haley? I don't know if this counts, but I am an avid player of Pokemon Go. I would say that's definitely your favorite, for sure. You're still on it every other day. Every day. Every day, she's on it. Um, My favorite game to play on a console would have to be um, Crash Nitro Kart. You guys remember Crash Bandicoot. Mm -hmm. Way back on the old classic Xbox. That's gotta be my fave. I enjoy watching Minecraft and Skyrim. Yep. Both, both of those are solid. I'm not very good at video games. Hey, you've improved a lot though. You've done a lot better. We'll have to do the Destiny Destiny 2, Haley plays Destiny 2. That'd be a fun series to do. All right, what was the other question? What inspired me to start making YouTube videos? Yep. In college, I tried to do it a little bit just because I thought it was fun because I played so much Destiny 1. But then once we got married and I started working full time, Haley had a job teaching and she would coach volleyball after school. So I would come home from work and have like two or three hours where it was just me chilling at the apartment. Oh. and. I would end up playing Destiny, or at that time I would play a lot of Destiny 1, and so I figured, why not try to make some videos on it? I'm decent at the game, not the best player in the world, but I thought it'd be fun to make some videos on it, and then uh, it kind of turned into the channel. It was a slow start for the channel though, because I started in August of 2016, and I don't think I grew, actually grew more than like 100 subs in a span of like three months. It was very slow starting. I posted almost every day right when I started and it was like less than a hundred views and I made August I made 13 cents the whole month I posted almost 30 videos and I made 13 cents Ooh, that was just that was very disheartening but then you know it picked up started to snowball a little bit until April of last year and then uh, then I would say it went back downhill and then has now recently picked up now that we're doing Destiny 2 again. I think that's because a lot of people have left Destiny 2 and so staying on the game, even though, yes, the game is not in a good place, staying on it and creating content for it for the people that have remained and are interested in watching it, I think has kind of given my channel an edge just because there's not very many people out there still posting content on the game. You have Cami Cakes, you have Rip Cacus. There's a couple guys here and there the Jazz will play it every, you know, once a year when he decides to post. 
So that answers the question. I, I started for full time starting was August of 2016 and uh, it was for fun because he was bored and lonely. Yeah. And then he became obsessed with it, especially when it started actually going somewhere. Yeah, a couple months in, once it started being actually growing, then I was all about the channel growth, yeah. In these trying times, how do you stay so optimistic? I think that goes back to what I just said about having an edge with the channel growth. I think I'm not saying that I would play Destiny 2 if I wasn't doing videos. I would 100% be playing Fortnite. Fortnite. So I'd say as much as I enjoy playing games, I would not be playing Destiny. I would 100% be playing Fortnite. So the fact that I'm playing Destiny is because I'm focused on the growth and trying to build the channel. I'm hopeful it's going to get better. The March update seems promising. And the May update I think is going to be even more promising. Quicker time to kill and 6v6 across the board would make my day. 100%. And possibly the old weapon system, but I know that's controversial. So we'll, we'll talk about that another time. His tail is switching in front of the camera. <laughs> Alright, here's one. Maybe you can try to answer this one. This kind of okay. this would be kind of cool. It said, hey dude, I've always had a question. If you had a super serious tournament for Destiny 2 that you were playing in, because they tried to make it competitive, but it didn't happen. If I was playing in a tournament, what subclass would I play? What do you think? Probably Hunter. I think that originally um, the uh, Warlock was more his personality, still is his personality, because he's um, more of a wizard than a spy. You're making me sound really cool right now. Thanks, babe. All right, next question. Kids? Question mark? Yes. Yes, I would say in year and a half to two years range. Most likely about a year and a half, I would so say. So we are turning 25 this summer. Both of us have summer birthdays, and so sometime after that, but hopefully sooner rather than later, I'm ready to have some babies, <laughs> other than the babies. furry kind. Hey, we've got one right here. Look at him. He's going to be such a good big brother. Right now, he's an only child. He's kind of spoiled, actually. <laughs> oh. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> All right, how long have we been married? We have been married for less than two years, but more than one and a half years yep. at this point. June of 16, we got married. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite game that doesn't include weapons? Pokemon Go, or just Pokemon in general. I, I, play, I still play it on uh, my DS. Like, we'll take trips on the plane. I'll play uh, the DS versions of the old, like, Generation 3 Pokemon games. Um, and I guess Minecraft? Minecraft has weapons, kind of, but... Not really. I play that one quite a bit, too. Favorite gun in Destiny 2? It's either the Autumn Wind Pulse Rifle or the Wardcliffe Coil. For PvP, both of those are excellent guns, and they're so much fun to use. Mark, oh, he smudged the screen. Oh, no. Marcus. All right, here's a question. What job do you have? So I am a computer programmer or software developer for Chick-fil-A. So I do a lot of work building the Chick-fil-A app, which if you haven't downloaded it, subtle plug. I don't, I don't really care if you, you download it, food. but you get free Chick-fil-A if you use it. So that's part of my job is building out the Chick-fil-A app. All right, he said, what job would you have aside from YouTube or the job you have with Chick-fil-A? Really, I think those are my two, I I would say goal jobs are both of those. Maybe eventually doing YouTube full time. Don't tell Chick-fil-A I said that. But currently, I'm really passionate about both of those. I spend a lot of time every day working on those and I don't know if there's another job out there. He really loves his job with Chick-fil-A. Oh yeah, for it's, sure. It's great, but if he could work for himself playing video games and stuff, Mark. then of course, he would do that. Oh, 100%, yeah. What happened to Haley's cooking channel? Ugh, I keep meaning to do it, and it's just one of those things. I'm just not doing it. You need to, we need to start filming it again. I need to. That'd be fun. I need to. I really like editing. Part of the problem, honestly, is that during the evenings is when I would work on that, but I'm usually either hanging out with Mike or playing with Marcus, trying to keep him like quiet and occupied and get his energy out. 
um, keep them quiet for recordings, all of that stuff. So it's it's a goal that I'm trying to incorporate into my it's weekly fine. routine, but it's just not going well. <laughs> hey, you'll get there. We need to work on it some more. We'll, we'll prioritize it. You guys, if you guys are interested in Haley's cooking channel, which go. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will be. All right, let's see. All right, so let's see. Next question. What did the high school mic look like? What were some of your interests and hobbies of the younger Geekermon? Uh, basketball was my go-to sport. I played it every single year from like fifth grade through senior year of high school. Um, Call of Duty. I played a lot of Call of Duty. Yep, I played all the way up until I played Black Ops 2, I think, and then Ghosts, I didn't play, Advanced Warfare, no. Really, it was downhill after Ghosts for me. High school, Modern Warfare 3, and college, Black Ops 2, I played the you-know-what out of those games. I was like 10 prestige, playing them every day. All right, let's see, do I ever play on PC? Yes, but I am not very good, so I don't do it very often. But I got a new mouse recently, and I have Fortnite, Overwatch, PUBG. There's a lot of games I have on PC that I would like to play. Uh, Destiny 2 is not one of them. I don't think I'll be getting Destiny 2 on PC. But uh, I already have gotten my skill level down on console, so I'm not gonna swap over. But I think that I'm gonna try to play some of those games, maybe on stream, play those games a little more on the PC, get that mouse dexterity up a little bit since it's it's tough. All right, I see a, there's a whole bunch of questions about what is your religion, what's your faith, what's your, so I, we can answer that one. So, uh, Haley and I are both Christians. We're, I would say, non-denominational Christians. Uh, grew up Baptist. Grew up Baptist, mm -hmm. too. Yep, both grew up <coughs> Southern Baptist. So yeah, we're Christians. We, uh, I definitely think our faith is based on our relationship with Jesus. Um, not afraid to say that. I think a lot of people have asked that before. I've done Q&A videos on it. So yeah, that's what we believe. That's we're ours. we're very focused on um, the relationship we have with Jesus and the fact that he died on the cross for us and uh, that's that's pretty much how we how we try to grow our faith and grow in our relationship with him. So we'll leave it at that. When are you gonna get a regular kid? This is our son. <laughs> this is our regular kid. This is our regular don't kid. Don't judge our family. You don't know anything. <laughs> Soon. Settle down, settle down. <coughs> That's what Mike always says when I'm excited about having babies. Settle down, or looking at settle houses. down. He goes, settle down, settle, settle down, down, settle down. All right, well, I think that's it. We went through a whole bunch of them. We'll, we'll have to do another one soon. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for the Q&A. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Smash the like button. Smash it. As Haley would say. Smash it. All right, settle down, settle down. <coughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A, give you a little more insight into uh, our day-to-day -day lives, some questions about us. We'll have to do another one again soon. So if you guys are interested in seeing more of these, definitely leave a comment down below. So yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And, uh, and as always, have a great day. <laughs> All right guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.